Yeah, and lime lock. That's a good story for another day. Yeah. But uh, anyway, story time. So I don't think he's going to. So part of the deal was I couldn't. Hold on, I don't bring it up yet. I couldn't plan anything for this podcast because if I plan stuff, all our bad videos are planned out. And he's like, I don't know what to do. I, yeah. I put too much. Something just floating, floating That's fine. I put too much preface on trying to remember what I'm supposed to do. He would not be a good actor. No, absolutely not. So we're. I don't know. You're washing your hair there. That's weird. That is weird. <laughs> I when, don't did, know. when did we record that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, so this story, this car, he hasn't seen, and it. it's the only photo I have of it. It's a horrible photo. So I'm not going to rag you too bad if you don't recognize what it is. I was about to say, if you end up putting this up and I have nothing to say, this is going to Yeah, if you don't know this story, we're done. (laughs) Because I'm starting at the top and working my way down. Oh, man. You see? Wind is kind of high noon's coming. Now, is that one... Is that that... It looks more red in that picture, and I remember it being like a maroon. No, it was red for sure. Was it the big block? Yeah, that's a big block. Is it the one that we managed to break? Yeah, well, that goes a long way, but yes, that's the one. It's the one that caught on fire. Oh, oh. Yeah, no clue. No, that's not the same one I thought. Which one are you thinking? Oh, you're thinking about the... No, that was a, that was maroon. That's what that's I That's actually right there in the corner. Yeah, that's That was the that one. 65 396 car that mm-hmm. broke the... Clutchy yes, or something. Yes, that's the one I was remembering. Yeah, no, that's a good story for another day. I forgot about that, to be yeah. honest. So this is a 69 427 Corvette. I don't know if you can see the photo here, but I'll put it up on the screen. 69 427 Corvette, tri-power. I believe it was a 400 horse, four-speed red interior. We just had got it. I mean, this thing was like pristine. Super nice. It had been sitting a little bit. One of the calipers was sticking, my dad thought. So he said, why don't you take it out and go drive it and don't go far, but just see if it, see what it's doing. Because I mean, if you've had a C3 vet, you know the calipers suck. So it wasn't like, I drove one to Rodman one time that had no brakes. So it wasn't like literally no brakes. So it wasn't anything to go like drive it and try it out. So I load up and go to town and everything seems pretty good. Somehow I meet up with you. Yeah, I don't remember the... And we're like, let's go ride this thing around. Because, I mean, it was a ripper. It ran good. Yeah. So, had the side pipes. It sounded good. So, we go and make the loop, like, through Clark's Chapel, across, <coughs> around Skeener, up by the farm. We drove, like, this 30-minute ride. It was on the way back from the, on the highway. Yeah. Back from the farm. And it, like, so it's the back right caliper. No, back left caliper is locking up. It was driver's side. Yeah. So it wasn't like you really felt it in the wheel. And you couldn't, it wasn't locking up enough. I still don't know how I got that hot. Like you couldn't tell it was locking up. So we're going down the road. We start smelling like some brakes. And we're like, if we couldn't pull over anywhere. Like, well, hell, we might as well try to get on home. So we're going on down the road a little more and look in the mirror and there's fucking fire. Shooting out. Full blown. The damn left rear wheel. Full blown. Not like, oh, it's smoking. Like, this like, bitch is on fire. Like, <laughs> call the fire department right now on fire. So, we get pulled over. I don't, we didn't have a fire. Did somebody, somebody ran up with one, but did somebody, it go out? It, it went out itself, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, before they got there, but they came over with one. Yeah, but it went out itself. So, here we are. Fucking... It's hot. Corvette on fire. So we're sitting there looking at it like, what are we going to do? Like, whatever. Do you remember what happens next? No, I don't remember. When the tire blew out. I thought he had already done that by that point. No. We're just, we're just now realizing it's not on fire. I'll tell the story you just said. Yeah, you just go ahead. You just sit there. My memory's not that good of that one. So I vividly remember the other story I thought we were going into. So he's down here looking at the tire, like, uh, what are we, can we get this thing and stuff? Like, what's going on? Did it hurt anything? And his face is like right here. I was about six inches away from it. I'm sorry. And it that. blows, it had melted the back bead on the tire yep, and, it blew and it blows it out. Yep. 
so violent that, you know, on these cars, the gas lid is shuts and pops. It pops, pops it open. It open. I remember that. He ruined his britches, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and I lost my eyebrows. Yeah. The heat that came out from that thing when it popped, the heat was ungodly. I mean, it literally, I you could feel it run across my whole face. It was not good. So at this point, we got to call my dad because <laughs> we're not getting this one back on. Should we preface? I can't remember which car this was, but for some reason, every single time you and I took something of your dad's out, it breaks. Oh, yeah. Every single time. We broke the 2 plus 2. We broke that Another maroon Corvette. vet. We broke the C28 that time I stacked the gears up in it. Yep. Um, we, broke, we, blew, we caught this one on fire. Caught this one on fire. Oh, another funny story I was looking at, and I never did figure out. Remember, we we been a push rod or something in that Ford Falcon. Yep. Remember that? I was yep. doing a crazy-ass burnout in that little 289. Yep. That son of a gun was ticking, and we put her up and never... Never said a word said about another it. Word. I don't, you wasn't with me tonight. I shit the transmission in the SRT-10, I don't think, were you? I think I was by myself that no, night. No, I wasn't with you on that. Yeah, you're probably there. It's probably your beer. Yeah, it probably was. So, yeah, we had bad luck. So we call my dad, and he shows up. It's just Jeremy's fault. It's he, always my fault. He's mad. Somebody else could come up. Did Clinton come up? I don't know. It was somebody we knew. Somebody no, stopped. Somebody stopped. I think Clinton was there for some reason. Maybe. I don't know. I remember someone being there with a fire extinguisher. Well, they left. That was something. They were, because they parked across the road and ran Yeah, over. that was what I remember. So, my dad, of course, has a spare tire, the jack, the orange jack down there in the shop. And let's be honest, the spare tire was probably dry rotted. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so, here we are changing his tire on the side of the road. Car's whizzing by. He's hotter than the tire. We get it changed. Why was it out of gear to start with? To break the luck? No. I don't know. As far as I know, it was out of gear just because you literally, we jumped out because it's on fire and it just didn't May get have been. Gear. Maybe the emergency brake didn't work. It was just one of those I things. I don't know. Like, we got to get out. Yeah. The car's in neutral unbeknownst to us. So we get out. We got that new, got new the tire, tire put on it. Got tire put on it. Get her back rolling. And we're sitting there, you know, my dad's about to get in to drive it off, I guess. I don't know who drove it home. Some bitch starts rolling towards the guardrail. <laughs> like, slow motion, but like, we couldn't catch it. So, it ends up hitting the guardrail on the left rear. I don't remember if the bumper, the bumper hit it. it I think the bump, it pushed the, how it didn't total the car, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it did. It didn't hit it hard. No. Most Gary fixed it, it was fine. Yep. Yeah. But needless to say, he was mad. If you like that story and you want to hear more crazy stuff, check out our entire podcast, the Rated F Podcast. You can find it on Spotify. We're going to get it on more places. It's on the YouTube channel, too. You can see the video of the whole thing, or you can just listen to us like I said, on Spotify, RSS, anywhere you find podcasts, hopefully. So hit that like button, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Y'all be pretty.